Hi guys, I am here. I'm Jim, and today we're gonna talk about Sun King Drum, the SD310. What is this? Okay. You have all? No. <laughs> okay, this is basically a simulated hi-hat. Hi-hat. Yeah, what you see in an actual drum set where oh. whereby they are one hi-hat with the you know two symbols. Yeah. You don't really get this, you know, often in a electric drums, in a budget drums, no. Totally no. What you will have is maybe just one single pad. That's all. But for this particular module, the Sound King 310, SD310, you will have one of this. So basically what that what it does is exactly the same feel. Oh. Same feel so open from yeah. the same feel. So yeah, you, you get experience basically both worlds in electronic and drums all in one. So, so you when you both. switch to a normal acoustic drum set to this drum set, yes. then you get the same type yes. of feeling. You get the same, same feel. Of control. course, obviously it won't feel the same, but it's closely there. It's closely. Oh, as close as, as, close as you as can possible. get. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so yeah. yeah. I see some very cool looking symbols like... Symbols, yes. Yeah. Okay, power. power. Symbols, basically what you have here now is uh, three pads of symbols which you don't normally get in a budget drum. Most of the time you only get one hi-hat, one, you know, one pad crash and one pad right. Yes. So for this particular one, you have one extra. Meaning to say you have one complete set of symbols. All right, so you have you have the chance to experience about a fourteen inch crash, a sixteen inch, uh, eighteen inch crash, and a twenty right. And what's nice in these three pads is three of them are chockable. Chock, yes. Oh. So it's the same, and the sustain it, that it does is pretty amazing. It is quite long. It's broken slow. You can roll. And it sustains is how the actual symbol is. Ah, I noticed that it's very velocity sensitive. Yes. It, it changes when you hit it softly. And yes, of course. Yeah. It depends ah. on how much you exert on your press. It helps. So what do you get out of this tree? What is so nice about it? Alright. So first, you experience the tip, hit, crash, choke, and a roll. Same goes to two of this. So yeah, right here, your bell, bell. you have the tip of your right. Oh, and you can crash. Crashable. So yeah, so basically, this is what you get out of this uh, whole symbol set. Oh. And so you can, with the extra symbol, you can do your rock star yeah, double cresting. Of course. <laughs> Save you. So yeah, pretty much in a budget drum, I would say. To be able to have this simulated high head, extra pads, it's uh, basically a bonus. Wow. You know? And by the way, I don't see much cable going around here. So, what's the deal with this? Is All right. it hiding? You yes. hide it? No, I do not hide <laughs> it. When it comes, when this product comes, it's basically in a set where it's uh, pre assembled. Oh. So, what you see is. Is the whole body of this drum, you know, whole body of this drum, and with a symbol already attached. Oh, the symbol. So, yes. <laughs> okay. So basically, you can set up this drum roughly the longest maybe fifteen minutes. You just open, put it in place, put your pads plug in, and you're good to go. The cables will be somewhere in 
somewhere inside the pipe it's in the rack so it's properly attached and pulled so all you need to do is just plug and play this is a really good feature because I always have to, you know, like cable tie, you know, tidy yes. up. Usually everything. you will only have Velcro. Velcro <laughs> and you will take maybe a good 10-15 minutes just to, you know, DIY yourself. Where would this cable go? How you're gonna attach it and so on. But for this, uh, it's pretty simple. You see, even, you know, uh, small kids, they can do it. What is this thing over here? Okay, like... this is uh, basically the Sound King module. So what module? You, yeah, it is a module by itself. And if you notice, this module, it's uh, it don't usually looks as how other module is. So what you find here is you have pretty much an indicator here. Indicator, what is the indicator? All right. Indicator basically is like what you see this tom. This is a tom one, tom two, and three. So instead of traditional way of hitting it to identify where it is. Here lays down for you everything. Tom one, tom two, and three, and so on. Yes. Oh. So basically, everything is here for you, right there and then. In it's all in front of you. You are good to go. You're good to know which is what and where way to fix it. It's very cool looking or the slider thing. What it okay. does? This slider basically it's mini mixer. Mixer. What does it do? All right. This mixer works uh, for this pads and crash. Personal, uh, individually, it's controllable by this mini mixer. You control the volume? Yes, you control the volume. So, like if you want it to be loud, you know, to balance everything, then this will, will do the trick. Ah, uh, then it will be very easy then. Yes, it will be very easy. Because I did remember back then, like, I want to adjust something on the beginner's drum set. I always have to, you know, press, 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 and go into the menu and then yes. do this and that. So basically, True. this one is it's right there in front yes, of it's you. it's right in front of you. So just, everything is just there. It's pretty simple. The A and B thing? Alright, A and B is basically a group. What is a group? Like, group A and B can be controlled by this button here you can choose so basically a what is it a you have kick snare toms hi-hat pressures and right how do you know so basically when you press a mixer so basically what you see now in this whole function is the volume of your first you know individual pads example right this is a right you know when you lower it it's gone so, same goes to kick. Oh, so you can best manually adjust all these things individually. You become your own sound yes. engineer. Sort of. <laughs> cool. Oh, A and B. So everything is well laid out. You see, when you go to B, I can see here. I uh, yes. get control of ours. Yes. Then we go to the A mode. Everything is there. Oh, everything is there laid down for you. No, it's all the press button all day no. long. Right? It's pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> oh, straightforward. Yes. Oh, what what you see is what you get. Yes. Cool. That's pretty much it. One thing I'm very interested. I want to know that something like have a teaching or coach inside coaching method. All right. Like listen. So in this module, uh, this particular model it provides you a coaching. They call it coach. Coach. Coach button. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> So what do you have here? You have a rhythm. You have rhythm. a beat. You have a pattern. What is rhythm? So basically, with rhythm, when you press here, you have three buttons here. What you see here is uh, another set of groups. So with this coaching, you have rhythm, beat, and pattern. What is rhythm? One, two. So three, this is your rhythm. Oh, okay. So basically, it's similar to a pattern of what you are playing. What beat? About beat? One, two, three, four. It's like the beat that you're gonna compose. Wow. Like maybe paradiddle, plain, stuff like that. So it's pretty much very simple. Pattern is almost similar to which we were about to explain later. Uh, a backing track. Two, three, four. Uh, it's a song, yes, it's a song, basically a backing track for you to uh, try, try out. 
you know, like now, maybe this is a with a drum. If you do not want to have the drum, you want to give it a try. There is always this indicator, drum or button, drum or button. So there are no drum. Uh, you can choose with the drums or without the drum or without. Uh, it's the guide. Uh, yes, okay. it's basically your guide. So this is what all those uh, coach methods is trying to teach you. It's basically your personal coach in the module itself. Let's talk about the drums sound in this one. All right. I as I always previously know, like in a distinct electronic drum set, they always had like many different type of drum set like you can play around. Ah, yes. Like this one, what do we have? Like like we have plenty for this. 10, like button. 20? No, we have uh, 20 plus songs and a sound, I mean kit. Oh. Some of them may be like pop, rock, metal, jazz, brushes, percussion everything. sounds. So it's not far different than any other module that you see in the market. It's basically almost the same, but of course, different modules produce you different type of you know, patterns, sounds, and so on. Like this, what you have now is basically a pop all one. They call it a pop all one. So this may be what might be a pop song sound, drums look sounds like. So in this pop, you have about roughly four sounds of pop. Let's see another one. This is pop two. So you have the splash here. Three. It's all slightly different, and you have rock, rock. You have metal, house, funk, drum. You know. So basically, it's a simulator. What What's your favorite drum kit in here? Personally, I love Pop One. Pop One, can you play yeah. some like cool tricks? Nah, to not show really. off <laughs> So basically why I like Pop 1 is because it's almost similar sound to the acoustic drum itself. So it's naturally realistic. I'm leaning toward this sound. Oh. Can I customize my own kit? Like I, I pick the kit drum that of I like. Course. The uh, in this module, you have uh, basically 36 user manual uh manually like your a own personal memory, sound so yes. just like uh, guitars multi effect yes. you got your your 1a 1b 1c yes. so each of the slot you can customize a very own yes. drum kit yes uh, so you have 36 slots for you it's up to you how you want to handle it you want to make it your own kit up to you so you have 36 you have plenty of room for you to play with uh, so like just now you're using the POP01, mm -hmm. so if you're not satisfied with the kick sound, you think it's too small or something, then you want to get a kick, let's say from the rock one, Yeah. you can do Yes, it. you can. And uh -huh. how do you do that? Maybe you can go for, say example, I'm using user 36, okay? User 36, now how do I do it? I can go to voice, this is voice. So basically what you see inside here is a kit of user 36. but. Be very in mind while doing this in your safe tool, make sure it's the same memory that you are saving. You do not want to name it your kit 36, but you save it on one, but you forgot. Ah, you know? yeah. <laughs> right. So that is basically quite this, yes. So basically this is what how you're gonna do it. It's pretty much straightforward, everything is there. You just need to follow directly exactly how it's set. And how do you do all this? Basically, like, example, like, oh yeah, this indicator, in this choice, uh, you have plenty, and it's, then, then you can just choose, tom, I can go for tom 2, bass. And then how you swap it? From how I swap, you have a plus and minus button. Then you scroll through the... Yes, you scroll through. Oh. And you can try. Ah, why I scroll? <laughs> yes, you see? This is what I call auditioning. Yes. Ah. So basically you have plenty of choice, you have plenty of sounds, you have voice, up to you, go for it, change it. So after that, I choose the each sound that I like, how, how do I save? Okay, so 
here you have a uh, up down button left right so you basically you go to set to user 36 user save 36. exit so this is it oh, whatever wow i yes. like the customized feature so, yeah it's, it's very important do you have something like a song this is where all the drums is so that is what it might sound like in a drum so with a simple button just off the drum. Drum off. Drum off, yes. So you can basically play. So basically, simple as that, it goes the same as for the other 20 songs. So you have plenty, you have jazz, you have farm, you have uh, rock, country songs, you have plenty of those, you know, you can play. With, you know, without this, even if you don't like example, if you don't like this one, you can always have this auxiliary button somewhere whereby you can just plug into MP3, you know, play your own songs. Oh, I can download list. some backing tracks. Yes, you can. From the internet, so I plug in from the aux. Yes, you can do that. Play along. Yes, you can play along. Wow, then the, the possibilities is like yes. endless. It's endless. Wow. So, you'll see one something unusual feature here which you don't you normally find I think almost none wow. in this X stick so what is X stick? alright, X what? yeah, X basically X it's X stick something so, to do with X-Men? nah no. <laughs> so anyways on this pads itself you have a uh, few zones like this pads on one I have not shared about all these things. So, I'm sorry guys. These pads, you have two tones. You have two, two zones, I'm, I'm sorry. You have two zones and you can rim shot. Okay, what is the X sticks? X sticks basically is something like when you are playing. Okay, example. I accidentally hit it, and it's very annoying, you know, while playing, gigging or whatnot. So this is where X sticks is. Okay, press the X sticks and it's all gone. It's purely toms. Uh, you but of course your rim shot will still be there, but here. Conga, like just yes, now, your no conga, your cowbell, gone. So it, it will be okay. just normal, normal drums as how it should be. No X So basically, that's the X sticks. Right, so we're talking about utilities. So, what do you have in utilities? Basically, utility you have triggers, you have effects, you have coach system, you have clicks. USB storage, hi-hat config, okay. Briefly, triggers, what can you have in triggers? Triggers, how do you use it? You can choose from these uh, guidelines. Example triggers, you have pads, pads, no? crash 2, home 1. With this indicator, you can just press it and see this. And what do you have here? You basically you have curve, you have mass, thresholds, and cross the arm. For those uh, who do not know what is this, it's a kind of the deep editing kind of thing. Yeah, it's Correct. pretty much uh, more in-depth and details editing where you, you can be done. But for non-season drama, it might not sound the same for you. Maybe everything is just flat. I mean, to even to me, sometimes I couldn't even differentiate. So, no big deal. So if you really want to get like more detail and more, you can just go to the utility and then yes. do all the... Yeah. Okay. So all these things like effects, you have reverbs, like all these things you can find in a mixer alone in your software. You can do that. Yeah, but reverb. You, you know, but reverbs are very important. For if you reverb. don't, if you don't use your computer, you can use this for yourself, for your gig, for your live recordings or whatnot. So in Coach, you have what you have in these features. You have difficulties. You have perhaps it will be something more extremely challenging or you know a tad more oh, it's like as gaming. you go on oh, easy yeah. normal and uh, expert 
and what else system you have okay system basically is just for your factory reset if just in case you screw up the whole module i think that's it for today for our drums yeah demo. so thank you guys uh for joining us and i hope whatever i explain will be very much informative for you guys but if you do have a question do drop by some comments in the comment yeah. space below and ask you know i might not cover everything so yeah don't be shy don't hesitate and please like and subscribe yeah. to our channel and then if you have any suggestion for future episode let's say drums or pedals yeah or whatever keep it coming thing, guys keep it yeah. coming leave it in the comment section yes this is a link to our whatever it is yeah can you put it here i'm gonna make your life i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so see you guys in the next video and that's it from us adios amigos bye